Okay, I have a basin, my palette, some dish soap. This is hand soap, dish soap, all right? And I wanna show you how I load my brush and clean my brush, okay? So we've got, the, we've got our paint in here. The most important part is not leaving paint in our brush, okay? And I'm gonna put a whole bunch in here so you'll see me get it all the way up. I even can get it in the ferrule. Okay, so what I want you to see is that this is the ferrule right in that edge. You don't want paint to dry in that edge. Okay, and when it starts getting in that edge, I'm trying to find a brush that has it more in that edge so you can see it. But when it gets in that edge, then it makes your bristles, the chisel right here, and makes it fan out, all right? So I want you to see that I'm gonna come over here to my basin and I'm gonna rake. I'm gonna rake it along, hear that? So I wanna make sure that all that paint's gone. See, there's still paint there. So you have to, I can come over here and show you. You're raking it flat against the rake inside the basin, okay? And you're gonna do that. This is raking across the plastic ridge in here. All right, even the small brush, same thing with a, with a 12. So see, I've got this brush. So this is how you're cleaning out a flat brush, all right? Now what happens is a scruffy brush, a scruffy brush is natural hairs. So these are synthetic nylon, these are nylon, these are natural. So with the natural, these will break, those bristles will break. So we're gonna pounce that straight up and down. All right, all the other brushes that I have, you can rake them. So look, you pinch the ferrule, that's where all the water stays. You pinch, fluff, and then it's ready for you to use. All right, that's the scruffy brush. Now, this is what happens, I want you to see these, okay? And this is what happens when paint is left and the bristles. So see, that's hard. Like my paintbrush maybe touched that and left it hard. And my students will leave brushes out and it's got hard paint in it. So Murphy's soap oil. It's at a, at a, where dish soap and cleanser and all is. I take these and I put them in a plastic cup and I only put it up to there okay and i let it sit overnight so i'm just putting this so you can see that this is not murphy soap oil but that's how you put murphy soap oil down into the bristles and let it sit overnight and it will comb right out all right so that's how you do those so you don't have to throw them away they're still good all right so if i'm trying to clean my brush and i'm all done i can go to my sink and under the faucet, I put soap to make sure that I've got all the paint out. And I can take that brush and I can work it in. See, there's a little bit of blue still in there. See the blue? All right, somebody, I've been asked this a couple times, so please show how I clean my brush, okay? You wanna keep it combed. I use those from the hairdressers. I use those combs that for scrubbing your hair, shampooing your hair, and those help straighten out all the bristles, okay? So no paint left here, right along the ferrule, no paint. You wanna make sure that your chisel stays good. And so I can go like this and put it away, or I can take a bar of soap and go like this on top of the bar of soap and let it dry and it'll keep that really nice chisel, all right? This is an important lesson, and I want you to, to pay attention to how you clean these out 
and how you load them properly. All right. Hope you enjoyed this. I, I do get paint all up in the ferrule, but I clean it out very well. And that's important. After you soak these, soak these overnight in Murphy's soap oil, or we have a brush cleaner. So you can order from us a brush cleaner, but Murphy's soap oil, you get a big bottle like this, big. And it's for cleaning floors and all kinds of clean. So that's my lesson for today. I hope that you keep your brushes nice and so don't have brushes like these. Right? Keep them nice and fresh so that you keep a nice chisel at all times. All right, I'll see you next week and practice, practice, practice. <laughs>